What is going on guys, this is Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 here in Chaos Theory mode. And we have some T-Rexes just kind of chilling out in the sun. <laughs> but last time we left off, we made this new part tour over here to kind of bring in more adventure guests, because beforehand we had only- Oh, here it is right here. Beforehand we had only like, what, three or something like that adventurous guests, and now, uh- <laughs> Look at the view from this part tour right there. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> right, the part- Yeah, look at that! Look at that view! With the, ah! Right, right up his neck and butt. Nice, nice view right here. Just right at the beginning. Oh, jeez, he's like destroying the truck right now. Whoops. Hold on. Can we go to a different one? Uh, no, we can't. There's not another one behind us, unfortunately. <laughs> We're gonna get run over by this one over here, too. No! But as you can see- Oh, hey, Lena, you can see your heads right there. Oh, uh, well, not anymore. Anyways, you can, you can definitely see how that could be uh, appealing to adventurous type guests. Oh yeah, yeah, the other one was uh, in front of us, that's the reason why I was all the way over there. But either way, uh, we built the park tour to attract more adventurous guests, as well as to uh, get our park rating up to three stars, and we actually hit it. We're at about uh, three and like an eighth or so star right now, which is amazing. Uh, we did place down a lot more shops and uh, another hotel, and I think more, uh, yeah, we placed another emergency bunker there. Another emergency bunker over here, and another uh, another guest attractor thingy over here. Appeal. What was this thing actually called? Yeah, a, a guest attraction. We built that over there as well, so we have a lot of shops and stuff over here. What I do want to do this episode now is uh, this one mission right here, just research the following, expand the park boundary. We actually saw this at the end of last episode. Uh, we had to expand the park boundary a few episodes ago, and I believe the original boundary was like right here, and then we upgraded it to here. But we never did anything with it, and now it wants us to upgrade all the way out to here, which might be the uh, the full expansion of the map. So we might want to actually start uh, using all this extra space that we have here in the park, you guys. So definitely want to think about doing that. As well as I read some uh, you guys' comments saying, uh, "Hey, you know your T Rex, and what do we have? Do we have copies, or did we did we get the copies, or did we uh, synthesize them? I forget." or incubate them, whatever you want to call them, I forget, but uh, yeah, I, I definitely do want to research all these dinos that we just kind of got, like, imported into the park, because uh, they are probably going to start getting old and probably die here pretty soon, so definitely want to at least get some expeditions going to try and get their DNA, and of course their full genome, so we could actually uh, incubate more of them, whatever the uh, the old ones die of old age and whatnot, right? So let's try and get that done. I don't know where the T-Rex is on there. Oh wait, we might have to actually research it. Yeah, that's probably what we need to do. Yeah, so let's actually get a pretty good, uh, not really a head start, but... Uh, just kind of a start in general, I guess you could say, right? Oh, wait, no, 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 that's Carnosaurus. And that is Sucomimus. And this one's T-Rex. Yeah, there's T-Rex right there. Okay, so let's actually uh, start researching this. We should be able to research this, right? Oh, Cook over here is a uh, faster research. He's actually kind of uh, unrested right now, so we need to watch out for that. But let's see, is that, uh, that's almost good enough? One more? Faster, faster expeditions, cheaper expeditions. Yeah, we don't have anyone that's going to give us anything except for positive influence right there, which I guess will help out. So there you go, start task. Yeah, we're not going to save any money uh, from cheaper research anymore. Unfortunately, so that kind of sucks, but at least we're getting a little bit of progress there. And as we saw just a minute ago, we do have someone who is unrested. And because we placed down a second staff center last episode, we could actually hire a couple more scientists. And last episode, speaking of such, we did also get a uh, notification of it being a new month. So we might want to look at the scientists we have available now. So we have a uh, cheaper expeditions right here. Might want to do that, maybe? Welfare specialist? Okay, that's going to be great because we have a logistics specialist where? Didn't we have a logistics specialist? We have a genetic specialist. Oh yeah, we never hired him, did we? Yeah. So we have a genetic specialist right here. We had a logistics specialist beforehand. It must have got to... Uh, like recycled out, so now we have a welfare specialist we could hire. So might want to actually start doing that. That way we have a oh yeah, here we go. We have another genetic specialist right here. I think this is a different person. Uh, but yeah, if we're ever needing high genetics or high uh, welfare over here, these seem like great people to hire here, you guys. Especially for those last two slots. But at the same time, cheaper expeditions, uh, genetic specialist, cheaper research. Hey, okay, so the, here's the cheaper research guy I was talking about. And this this guy's kind of good across the board. Three, three, and three on logistics, welfare, and genetics. Should we hire him or should we hire a, a specialist, like genetic specialist or welfare specialist over here? I don't know. Man. Or maybe we should hire or uh, fire whoever we have right now who gives us faster research. Cook. Yeah, maybe. 15,000 per hour to maintain Cook as a, uh, I'm like, he's, he's kind of busy right now, so we can't really fire him. <laughs> but uh, 15,000 up to 19,000, and then he'll kind of pay for himself pretty quickly by saving us 30% per uh, research. Maybe I'll do that. And then we can hire the, uh, the last two remaining slots as the genetic uh, specialist and the welfare specialist. I suppose we could do that, you guys. That'd be pretty good. Uh, but for right now, yeah, the, the only thing that we're worrying about is the uh, this thing right here, which costs like six million or something like that. So if we're able to save 30% on that, yeah, don't mind if I heck and do, right? What, $180,000? Oh, wait, no. 1.8 million, right? Yeah, holy heck. Yeah, the numbers are a lot bigger. It took me a second to realize that there. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to save almost $2 million right there, you guys, just from uh, 
us hiring that one guy. So he's going to pay him for himself like 10 times over right there. <laughs> so let me just uh, wait real quick, uh, about 40 more seconds for them to finish researching Carnivores 5. And then we have to research Carnivore 4. And then uh, we can research the expanded park out here and kind of get this thing done real quick, right? And look at that, we're over $20 million right now. So yeah, probably don't have to worry about that. And I've been over here yapping and it's already done. Okay, so there you go. So yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of, who was it, Cook? So let's get rid of, uh, oh wait, no, he's resting. Wait, what? Hold on, did I click on the wrong person? Oh yeah, yeah. I guess we had multiple people who were uh, high on unrest or whatever. Okay, whatever. Uh, he He's almost done. Yeah, 15 seconds left on him. And then, uh, well, at least he's getting a break before he gets fired, right? So... <laughs> There we go. All right, so let's uh, let's get rid of Cook, and then uh, let's see. Yes, fire you, because you're two, three, and two. The the guy that we're going to replace him with is three and three and three, and he gives us cheaper research. So I feel like it's going to make sense. Cook, yeah. I'm like faster research. That's good and all, but I don't think it's necessary when we could speed through the game and stuff like that. Maybe in the first game where there was no like speed through uh, feature. I believe you guys did say that that is indeed a new feature for this game. Uh, maybe I just, I, I just kind of misremembered it because I played Planet Zoo and all that kind of stuff, and it did have that built into the game. I guess the first game did not have like a fast forward feature, but this one does. So, you know, faster research, not only the biggest deal in the universe, but cheaper research. Yeah, definitely want to hire this guy right here, Sastry. So let's hire you for $19,000 per minute or $400,000 up front or, and $400,000. Did I do that real quick? Hold on. Did I do that or? I think I hit canceled right there. So there you go. Okay, we we hired him right there. Good. So unassigned. Let's actually train him. So uh, actually, actually, yeah. Didn't you guys say what if we have someone who is like giving us cheaper research or whatever, who, who we're going to be using exclusively on research, which I believe is uh logistics, right? We might want to actually level up his logistics. So if I go here, yeah, see, look at that. That's logistics right there with that little cog wheel. Let's do gen or uh, let's do logistics on. Where is he? Yeah, Sashri. Let's uh, do logistics. There you go. Four on logistics. Good. Yeah, you only had one level up right there. But boom, there you go. Nice. And he uh, went up about $2,000 per minute right there. But he's going to pay for himself super quick right here, you uh, guys. But uh, let's actually get that research done and out of the way. Where is that at? So let's actually start researching this if we can, if we have enough uh, people. Yeah, we should. Yeah, no problem. So let's actually get you for cheaper research and faster expeditions, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I guess I'll get multiple people here just to kind of make it go by a little bit faster and it's going to be a little bit cheaper. Yeah, look at that. 4.2 million compared to 6 million normally. Yeah, we're saving 1.8 million just by us having this Satchery guy, right? So yeah, he's paying for himself immediately here, you guys. Let's uh, start the task and let's get this done a little bit. Uh... Oh, wait, it's only going to be done in about 40 seconds. Holy heck. I don't know. Was it really necessary for me to, to do a third person on that? Because we didn't really need a third scientist, but at least it's going by even quicker than it would normally, right? But uh it's going to be done here in just a moment, and then we'll have this mission done over here. Research the following, expand the park boundaries. There you go, boom. Now we can go all the way out to the edge, all the way out to there, all the way around this little uh, plateau. Jurassic Park San Diego. We really did bring it back from the brink. And the dinosaurs back from beyond it. There's still more to do if we're to see the facility at its peak. More land should help. I would think that more guests and more dinosaurs with a greater variety of species would work as well. Correct. Let's get our park rating up across the board. What do you think, Dr. Malcolm? Well, you know, Thomas Edison uh, once said that just because something doesn't go as planned doesn't mean that it's useless. Hmm. And when it comes to Jurassic Park, that has surprisingly turned out to be true for now. So... Perhaps what's been achieved in San Diego is a tribute to those who would never leave the island. A painful and tragic legacy, but one that would be the foundation of a world forever changed by resurrecting its past and then turning it into theme park attractions. The fact that no one could have predicted the dinosaurs and humans would breathe the same air uh, gives me pause. <laughs> and it also, uh, it also makes me smile. Hmm. All right. Well, we have this this pathway over here, kind of, kind of getting a little bit of an expansion over here. You know, uh, just so we could actually have uh, some stuff to work with over here. I just kind of expanded these out uh, on these like vertices or vortices or whatever the word is. Uh, so that seems pretty good right there. It lo looks like just a danger to guess over there is just a momenti source or whatever that is. So not that huge of a deal. But let's actually connect this up if I can. Yep, there you go. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so we could have this area over here. I don't know. We could probably put some sort of enclosure right here or something. I don't know. Shops. Who knows? Uh, but at least we're kind of working with the uh, the predetermined shape kind of coming this from this amphitheater that we had beforehand, right? So that's pretty cool. 
then uh, maybe we do the same thing out coming out to here or something. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Then uh, in the future, if we're ever able to actually take use of all this area over here, uh, we can have the park tour kind of make uh, make its way around and actually go through all the uh, inclusions and stuff like that. But for right now, we have to increase the total dinosaur species from 8 to 10 and increase total dinosaurs to 40. We currently have 37 out of 40 and uh, reach park rating of 4 stars. We could easily do that, you guys. Not bad at all. We could actually do that pretty heckin' quickly. Let me uh, con continue researching over here. What do we need? Do you get a park rating of 3.5, actually, to get the uh, T-Rex over here and the Megalosaurus unlocked? So... How are we going to do that? How much money do I need? How much income do I need to get a park rating of 4.5 or 3.5? I mean, because uh, that, that's the only way you could actually get that unlocked is getting uh, more income per minute. OK, so 757,000 per minute. <laughs> actually, hold on. Hold on. That's four stars. Yeah. So probably like 650,000, I'd say. And that'll probably get us uh, three and a half stars. So we're, we're less than half of the less than 100,000 away from that. So we should be able to do that, I'd say, uh, especially once we get the two more dinosaurs and then the three more or two more dinosaur species and then the three more dinosaurs into the park. That should be done pretty easily, I'd say. I should definitely look at the other uh, herbivores we could actually get over here, right? So medium, large herbivores, herbivores small herbivores. Uh, so this is Gallimimus right here, Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, so we already have Pachycephalosaurus right now, so I should probably uh, start researching that. Just in case the one we have right now, you know, in case he dies, we'll be able to replace him pretty immediately because we'll have the genome done on all that kind of stuff already. So that should be pretty good. Let's start doing that. Just like that guy commented, uh, let's get uh, we need more welfare. So let's, or uh, no, there you go. Genetics. So bang. Yeah, she's she's our genetic specialist, so we don't need to hire another uh, genetic specialist. But there you go. One hundred forty thousand. Not bad. And ba boom. OK. And then uh, after this, let's see. I think someone needs a rest, don't they? I think I just looked and someone. Yeah, Ariva or Aravena. Let's give you a rest. There you go. Then uh, I don't know if there's anything else we should really uh, start researching right now. I might just go on some expeditions, especially because we do have someone who actually gives us cheaper expeditions, right? Paris for office. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, we already have Paris for office right now. So let's actually start uh, getting them. So we could actually get to, yeah, faster expeditions. Perfect. But yeah, let's start uh, digging up the Paris for office, get its full genome done. And then uh, whenever they start dying of old age and whatnot, we'll be able to make more of them without having to wait. Right. So don't have to worry about like having downtime and worry about not having money or anything like that. Right. That'd be pretty good. But looks like the other uh, person that actually goes on expeditions or gives us faster expeditions is able to do it on our own, which is really, really good. So let me just wait for her to come back from that expedition, which actually, yeah, now I remember. Should be able to get more stuff, right? Yeah, improved yield. We have a fossil yield of plus 50, so we should be able to get more fossils. And remember, the research center is able to process or hold or whatever more fossils at the same time. Yeah, look at that. We have uh, 17 extraction slots over here now, so we're able to process them a lot quicker than we were previously. So that's good. So yeah, let me just wait for her to come back from the exhibition. And now see you guys here in just a sec. Oh, wait, hold on. The research for the ornithomimosaurids has just finished. So uh, let's see. Where is that at? You research. Yeah, let's pull that back up again. And then we should be able to get the Pachycephalosaurids, right? Uh, oh, wait, no, yeah, we need a 3.5. Yeah, just like the T-Rex. So we have to remember that. I think I just pinned it right there, which is good because it's going to continue to remind me about that. And this one's Chimerosaurus. This one right here is for a Brachiosaurus and Mementi. So yeah, see, we need, we really need to get that. Oh, wait, that's a Mementi. Wait, hold on. What do we have right now? Have I been calling it the wrong thing? The big Sora? What, what do we have? Yeah, this is Mementi source. Did we get that imported or I guess we did. Huh. Okay, well, uh, yeah, once again, it's like a tier three or like a, a final tier critter. So we need to get the Pachycephalosaurus as a final tier critter. Uh, the Mamenchi Saurus over here as a final tier critter for the medium and large. We need to get the heckin... Oh, wait, we don't have any armor. Oh, yeah, you know what? A Stega would be great. We should definitely start research. So we got a Gigantospinosaurus. And then here's the actual Stegosaurus, which all, we also need 3.5 stars. But uh, Cri Crichtonsaurus. Huh. We haven't had any of these just yet. But I feel like the Stego would play well with our current creators. I definitely want to go double check real quick. But uh, let's get positive influence. There we go. Then uh, I guess we'll get genetic specialists. Yeah, there you go. Sure. And then I started that task for 140,000. Yeah, let me just go double check real quick. So Stegosaurids or whatever they're called. Let's go see if all these other herbivores are going to play nice, nice with them. I don't think so, really, because uh, we already have problems right now with uh, cohabitation with some of the creators. Obviously, you're fine with the amount of uh, creators we have right now, but... Stuff like the uh, Shrew the Amimus and the Pachycephalosaurus and the Parasaur. I don't know about the Parasaur office if they're fine. Oh, yeah, even the Parasaur office are uh, kind of kind of fed up with the cohabitation. There's way too many dinos inside here. So we may need to start working on the amphitheater over here and setting that as like a huge herbivore area or setting that as a special area. And then maybe we could have an herbivore area around or something. I don't know. We definitely need to think about having a secondary herbivore area. I'll tell you that much. That's kind of what I'm saying right now. <laughs> well, let me see if I can find a Shrew the Amimus. Oh, there's one. And uh, just see if it's going to play nice. 
Yeah, it likes Ankylosaurus, which is good. Stegosaurus. So both of those are going to be great. But uh, right now, yeah, even cohabitation for the uh, Shruithiomimus. So we could probably move the Shruithiomimus and the Parasaur into its own area and then put the Ankylosaurus with them. And then they'd probably like it. Like maybe we could put it like right here across the street. Like honestly, we could do that. That would make sense. Right here, we have a battery backup. Can I get rid of that right now? Or is, uh, is this not going to work? I might. Yeah, we have a uh, substation right there. That should be able to power it, no problem, right? I don't think we have to worry about it too much. So let me see. If I get rid of this, if, if I demolish that, something's not. Oh, the restroom over here is not being powered. Oh, no, the toilets won't flush, even though it doesn't require electricity to flush a toilet. But still, ah! <laughs> hold on. So how are we going to take care of this? Uh, so we need to put a substation somewhere. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, how is, how is that not being powered? I don't know. Maybe the battery just has a huge, like, area it's able to cover or something like that, huh? That's kind of crazy. But uh, I guess we'll just put this about right about. Let's see. I guess we'll... Because so I'd hate to put it here in the middle where the Jurassic Park, like, logo is. But I kind of have... I feel like I have to. Yeah, look at this. Like, right here. Right behind... Right behind the bathroom. No one's going to notice it. Okay? <laughs> so there you go. Then, uh... You know what? Yeah, let's make it go the other way. That's kind of ugly. I don't like that. Let's make it go this way. There we go. There we go. And then we'll connect it up. Like so. Okay, there we go. <laughs> then we'll get rid of this one uh, pylon right there. Okay, cool. So now the bathroom is working again. You guys can flush. No problem. Even though it didn't require electricity, but still. <laughs> Anyways, what was I doing just a second ago? Oh, yeah. Uh, so the amphitheater. I don't know. I don't know what we should do with that. I definitely do think like like maybe right here. We can put it and put another thing in the enclosures. Where, where could I put a path here? I guess I guess if anything, I could do this. I could do this. I can make this path continue going straight like so. So it's going to come out like two things. And then this will actually be like a nice square shape and it'll connect up to this perfectly. And there we go. Now, is that is that good? Now, the, the map goes all the way out to here. I feel like there's a lot of missed space right there, though. Hmm. Maybe I'll make that go out by one more. Let's make that go out by like one more stretch like this. Yeah, see, look at that. That's that's, that's good. I like that. Then we'll do the same thing here. There you go. And then we could actually uh expand this out to kind of like like show off like this area over here on th this side of the amphitheater like we put a viewing platform like over here or a viewing gallery or whatever right so we have a viewing gallery here you can see all the dinosaurs that aren't in the amphitheater whenever they're not in the amphitheater and uh that gives some pretty good visibility at least for the future at least kind of kind of planning out in my head where all these like things are going to be and because uh we're placing this down or we're starting to build this stuff before the uh actual fences and stuff that are actually built we could actually place down the stuff like this the viewing gallery beforehand which is pretty good so can i place this down like this not really crazy about that. Profit has actually grown by 6%, which is actually kind of surprising. I could actually uh, expand out the part tour. Let's see, let's make that go out to about. There you go. I could actually expand the part tour out, which I may end up doing over here. It's going to be really easy. See, it wraps around right here. I'm just going to get rid of these little bits right here. I'll go through this. And then, uh, yeah, you know, I should do that before I actually build the gates over here. Yeah. We have uh, two parasaurs right there. I should probably do that like right now. So that's right there. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that there. Then we'll do the same thing. We'll get rid of that too. Okay. I know that's not being powered. But for right now, let's get rid of this, this, and this. And then let's select the park door. The game is still paused in the background. Hopefully no one's going to notice that there's big, huge openings right there, right? <laughs> let's get the big uh, Jurassic Park little, little, little gate. And then uh, need to make sure we have plenty of room here, which I think about right here. About right there. That should be good. There we go. Then about, uh, let's see. Try and do the same thing. Same, same distance. On this side. About right there. That's that's probably fine. Let's try and connect these up. Like so. Oh man, that's not. Ah, let's move that a little bit. Hold on. Move building. Try and make that a straight line so I don't have to have the pathway kind of curve, you know? So about right there. That's probably good. A couple people in the pathway right there, but we can actually yep, get, rid of, get rid of that while they're still walking there. And then uh, let's place down a uh, the part tour thing to go through that. Oh yeah, and then we have to do the same thing on this side. Do not want to forget about that. Uh, so that's actually select the part tour once again. At the Toru, I did actually get a comment from you guys saying, uh, why, why don't you do like a, a montage or like a speed montage whenever you're doing building like this. I'm like, I, I did that in the first game. I don't, I don't think uh, too many people liked it. I think it might make sense for me to either cut it out of the video or at least just show a little bit of it. But uh, there you go. Then we could do a straight line to about right. I'd say about right here. That's probably good. And then we could actually connect these up. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to get rid of this path. There you go. Get rid of that path. And then, uh, oh, oh, perfect, perfect. Connect this up. Oh, whoops, whoops. This side. Nice straight line right there. Boom, nice straight line right there. And then we do the same thing. Oh, yeah, let's actually connect this up over here, too. Boom. And boom. Perfect. And let's actually select the path. Connect that up uh, like so. Cool. And same thing here. 
about as straight as you can get right there, honestly. Nice. I love it. Nice. Awesome. Okay, let's actually place down the gates over here, too. Fences. Place these down. All the way out to about right here. This one places down to about right here, and then connect it up like so. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Whoops. And then uh, no one's going to notice anything happened here, hopefully, right? <laughs> so there we go. So that's connected up. That's good. Then uh, same thing over here on this side. You just go out to about right there, and then connect up. And this one. And there we go. Cool. Yeah, see, that's not going to work there. Yeah, so glad that I did that there. Just made a little bit of room right there, and it worked out pretty well. Nice. All right, well, let's actually unpause, let all that stuff build real quick. Ah, oh, man, all oh, the parasaurs are going to escape. Oh, no, they're not. They're completely enclosed. Hey, uh, nice. But if anything, the part tour is not working right now because it's not, uh, I didn't fully uh, finish it over here. But whatever, uh, we'll worry about that here in just a minute. Uh, let's actually get the pathway or the enclosures, all that kind of stuff connected up over here. And there you go. OK, nice. So all this is built right here, which is good. Uh, this is still yelling at me about not having a path, even though I made it like literally right next to the pathway. But well, there you go. I should probably start uh, researching guest comfort, honestly. Look at that. We have random people. They're going to get it trapped. Oh, you guys better get out of there before the gateway gets built. Oh, my gosh. I was so close. They even looked behind them as the gate was being built. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, yeah. Speaking of gate, I don't even have a gate over here. Whoops. I keep forgetting about that. I have fences, but not gates. There we go. I think I think we got it now. Okay, nice. So let's build that. And is this being uh, powered by? Uh... No, it's just not being powered by anything. Man, I have to get another substation. Okay, let's set that up. We just set that up uh, here a minute ago anyways. Yeah, we can just replace that pylon with a substation and then we're good to go. Boom. Nice. So all this should be powered now, which is great. A fight between Pakistan and the what? What are they doing? I'm like, they've got like, what, 10 inch thick skulls. They don't have to worry about getting injured, hopefully, right? Watch, you're probably going to get a concussion, which is going to be the weirdest thing in the world. Because they've got, like, literal armor on the top of their heads, right? But hopefully nothing bad happens between the two of these. Look at him. Look at that. I bet they don't even feel a thing. Oh, what? Unidentified. Whoa, my gosh. He got really bloody right there. Whoa. Man, how did that even happen? They're just bashing, like, literally bashing helmets together right there. Whoops, that was the wrong button. What? Keep hitting the wrong buttons over here. Let's get the mobile vet unit over here. Check up on the Pekka's Evelosaurus. Where is he at? There he is right there. There you go. And hopefully nothing too crazy, nothing too severe happened to him, right? Uh, let's actually get... Oh, yeah, yeah, I never finished the part tour. Yeah, I kind of just finished or uh, stopped right there. Whoops. So, let's finish up the part tour here. I never finished it, so let's see. Oh, yeah, the... why is it still being unpowered? What? It should be, like, being powered by the, uh, like, actively being powered by the, uh, what do you call it? The fences and stuff, but I guess not for some strange reason. That's very crazy. But uh, there you go. Kind of making this path we go around like so. There you go. Not bad. And that's... Super confused. Why is this not being powered? Hold on, is this? Do I not? Do I not have enough power over here? Are we running out of power at this? Yeah, we're at 60 out of 60 right there. Not surprised. We have storm defense right there. I need to get another upgrade or whatever. I think it makes sense to finally get a secondary uh, thing. Yeah, second small uh, station. We don't have a large one yet. Probably going to take a while until we can actually get that. Yeah, so we have the injury uh, diagnosis now. I need to get a. Uh, wait, whoops. Where is that at? Improved power. Uh, ultimate power. Okay, so this one gives you a large power station. I need uh, five operational substations, which I guess we don't have yet. I also need 3.5 stars, as well as a uh, operational small power station. And improved power distribution, which is this. Gain access to a wider reaching power distribution center. I should probably do that. That gives us a large substation, yeah. I'm like, I was literally just earlier complaining about how the substation didn't have such a huge area, even though the backup battery did. It makes sense to actually research this. So let's actually get uh, whoever it was that had a low res or a fast re or cheaper research. And uh, where are they at? There they are right there. And yeah, he's starting to build up on rest already. We've been using them a lot. <laughs> Let's actually uh, get who? I guess you and you. Yeah, let's use you for the positive uh, influence and whatnot, right? So there you go. Start task. You know, we're saving like 150000 right there, which is good. That guy's saving us so much money, just like last time. So anyways, see what the uh, diagnosis or whatever is over here. With the uh, package of little Internal bleeding. I'm like, right, that makes sense. Internal bleeding there. Let's uh, get MVU. So that, that's got to be a major injury, right? Yep, major injury. Okay, so just making sure. Get the capture team over here, knock you out, take you over to MVU, and then, uh, yeah, definitely want to go on another expedition, because I bet whoever uh, was doing whatever, <laughs> I'm, I'm being really descriptive right now, is done, and yes, they are. So we have Paris Royal Office right there, which is good. Uh, another one right there, so it's going to 22%, 31%, 40%. Is it going to get done? Nah, it's not going to get done over here. It's not going to get 100%, unfortunately, but look at this. We're able to process all the fossils right there, and some of the ones that give us money, 110,000. You're going to get an extra 150,000 out of all that. Nice. So that's really good. Uh, no, no faster extraction or anything like that from uh, from these guys, unfortunately. But we could use O'Brien, the generalist over here. Let's go and get that done for 50k, no problemo. And let's send out uh, whoever it was to go on another expedition for uh, another expedition. 
for the Paris Raw office uh, right there. So it looks like it's just going to be one more and then the Paris Raw office is boom, 100% right there, right? So there you go, send you out there, uh, Oya Wally or whatever your name is, and uh, we should be done, good to go on you. So uh, yeah, so just a minute ago, I was talking about moving what? I think the Parasaur and the Pachycephalosaurus, I think so, over to this area over here. Uh, which, by the way, we need to get water. Oh, looks like they're actually ready to move you over to MVU. And who's going to take care of them? Bang? Um, no, we don't have we don't have anyone right now who's OK. Yeah, uh, staff not assigned right now, but they, they can still transfer him. And then hopefully whatever, uh, like all the sci all, all the scientists have done, like research and expedition and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully uh, someone that's really good at wellness is going to be freed up to actually take care of that internal bleeding. Right. But uh, we, we're talking. Oh, yeah, we're, we're talking about either an Anklo or like a Stego or something like that to go alongside the uh, Pachycephalosaurus and the Paris Rolophus over here. Right. But real quick, because I'm like, it makes sense. We need to get a little bit of water over here. So it's uh, put a little lake there in the middle. That should be fine. That's not going to be too bad. Uh, yeah. OK, so it looks like the Paris Rolophus has arrived or Pachycephalosaurus has arrived over here, but there's no scientists to work on them just yet. Kind of want to speed through and wait until some of the scientists are done. There you go. Exhibition complete. Hopefully whoever. Uh, is free to do the wellness. Oh, yeah. Well, we could just stack up multiple scientists, so not that big of a deal. Uh, let's actually see cheaper expeditions, cheaper research. Yeah, we don't have anyone who's good at like giving us cheaper uh, like like healing or whatever. I'm like, I've never even seen anything like that, uh, but I guess we'll get you. There you go. So that's going to be fine. There we go. 75,000 heal you up. And uh, yeah, speaking of uh, ankylosaurus and all that kind of stuff. Hey, look at that new viable genome. I'm like, it makes sense because it was at 49% just a minute ago. But uh, what were we looking at? Oh, yeah, the research over here. Um, let's go view research. And we were looking at what? Medium? No, not you. Uh, you. No, 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 not you either. It was armored herbivores. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so yeah, Gigantospinosaurus. So that's going to be Zilijing. I think that's over in China or something like that, right? So uh, then 3.5 stars to get the Stegosaurus. Okay, cool. So we're going to get the Stegosaurus there. Or we can get the Ankylosaurus. Or probably both, honestly. This one's going to be the Eula something. This is going to be the Okay, well, let's look at the map. See if we could find these critters. Uh, hold on. We actually have turtle fossils, turtle fossils, and uh, skin impressions. We didn't get anything for the Paris Raw office right there. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Did it say uh, new complete genome or did it say new viable genome just a minute ago? I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's get you to take care of this. There you go. I need to double check that real quick. Let's go check up on the hatchery, see where the Paris Raw office is on this. And the Parasaur is 89%. Okay, so yeah, it was uh, viable. So we didn't get any Paris Raw office uh, genome. Or, uh, fossils from that, unfortunately, which really sucks. But let's head on over to China or it might be Mongolia. I don't know. Let's, let's double check. Oh, yeah. See, we've got a lot of locations over here. Gallimimus, Parasaur office. Should probably do this one just so we get Gallimimus as well. Velociraptor there, Velociraptor there. Right. OK, so there's the Crichtonsaurus, which is going to be pretty cool. That's the Anklo thing. And where's the Stego type thing? I think that's it. Yeah. The Gigantospinosaurus. Ooh. And then Chunkingosaurus and Huayangosaurus. Those are both like I think they're both Anklo type things. They might be Spino or up. Uh, Stego type things, I forget, uh, but it's been a little while. I can't remember fully, but yeah, over here in China, let's go over here. Let's get the Gigantospinosaurus, I believe. Oh, man, I was about to say our uh, expedition person might be unrested, but no, she's just on the edge of being unrested. But <laughs> there you go. We also need to get Sashri. I guess we'll take you as well. Eight hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, we're not going to save any money on this, unfortunately, but hopefully we get some pretty good uh, fossils out of that. Right. Well, it's costing a lot of money to go on these expeditions, but uh, at least it's going to pay off in the long run. Right. So. Anyways, let's just speed through all the stuff we're doing right now. Our uh, Pachycephalosaurus getting healed up and it just finished. Now we have fossils and we've got uh, expeditions going on at, as well. Let's actually transport you over to the new area just because I was going to move you over anyway. So let's move you over. Let's actually get the capture team to move or uh, to knock out the other Pachycephalosaurus just so that he's not going to be lonely or anything like that. Right. So let me see if I could find him. I might need to look at the map and it's actually going to tell me where he actually is. But I want to see if I can actually find him on my own real quick. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it was Shrew the Amimus. Was it, was it Shrew the Amimus? It might have been Shrew the Amimus I was actually uh, looking at earlier, and it was like, oh, man. I need, oh, wait, is that it? Yep, there he is right there. Hold on, hold on. Is he fine? No, 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 yeah, cohabitation is actually right right there. So if I move him and Paris or all this. Yeah, even Paris or Golly, Paris or all this. Uh, I don't know. I feel like maybe if I move all of them and their own, own enclosure, they're probably going to be fine. And, if I add an Anklo or a Stego or anything like that, they're probably going to be red on cohabitation again, unfortunately, you know? I just need to get their, like, social stat or whatever that is that gets cohabitation better. That's probably our best bet for that, though, but, man, I guess I'll just have to wait and see. But anyways, I, since I'm already moving that one uh, Pegasus, let's move the other one over, and I believe it's just two, right? So if I do this... Wait, where's the other one? Wait, what? Oh, I think it teleported over there because he was in the sky. Okay, so I believe this is the only other one, so uh, let's see. Let's get you, capture team, knock you out. There you go. I believe we only have two of those. If I look at this map, 
No, this map. Right here, yeah. So there's... Oh, wait, no, there's like three more of them right here. What the... Where are they at? Oh, there they are. I wouldn't even... I didn't even see them just a second ago. <laughs> okay, let's get the uh, capture team again. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Capture team. Boom, boom. And then the other one just moved. There you go. Boom. All right, nice. So hopefully we're going to get them all knocked out. Delivery Is that one? Completed. What is that? Oh, that's the Shrew of the Amimus right there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, if, if I move... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, if I move them out, their, their cohabitation is going to go down anyways. So let me see who would play nice. Okay, this one. Okay, good. Pachycephalosaurus is going to play nice with Ankylosaurs and Stegosaurs. Perfect. Uh, what about the Parasaur, though? Uh, just Sora. Okay, let, let's keep the Parasaurs here, then. Then you, Ankylosaur, and Stegosaurs. Okay, yeah, let's move the or, or uh, what are they? Shrew the Amimus. Let's move the Shrew the Amimus and the Pachycephalosaurus. Those guys are going to be great to move into the new area. Let's uh, get the transport team to take care of you over there. And you over there. And we can destroy the Amimus as well. And there you go. Cool. Uh, as long as we start getting some uh, good uh, progress on the... What are we getting right now? Gigantospinosaurus or something like that? Oh, yep. There you go. Boom. Got this one knocked out. Nice. Expedition just uh, came back from said Gigantospinosaurus, right? So let's actually get the capture team to take care of the Shrew the Amimus right here. And knock out his friends, too. I think there's only two other ones. I think we only have three Shrewdios, right? So let's uh, double check. So there. Then the other ones are all the way over there. Okay, let's get the uh, capture team over here. Take care of this one. I believe the other one. Yep, there you go. Cool. So that should be all of them right there, I believe. Oh, yeah, we got the large sub. Okay, cool. So we got the. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. The heckin' large substation is huge, you guys. Let's actually place that down, like, right on the edge right there. Connect that up like so. Connect that up right there, like so, as well. Oh, I can't do that. Subtracted by pylon. Whatever. Uh, but for this, uh, let's get rid of this substation right here. Boom. Yep, get rid of that. And then we'll place a pylon right here. Cool. All right, so uh, that should be powering the viewing center or uh, viewing platform or viewing gallery. Golly, that should power that, right? Is that not being powered? Why is that not being powered? Oh, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Yeah. The reason why it's not being powered is because we didn't have enough uh, power output earlier. Yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, we got distracted by having the large substation, all that kind of stuff. Whoops. <laughs> so let's actually get the uh, another center over here. What's it called? A uh, small power station. Let's get another one of these bad bellies. Place it down about right here, right next to the other one. Uh, there you go. Cool. And then connect that up to the grid as well. And connect it up its pathway too. And that's going to double our uh, power output. I do ne definitely do need to research uh, like more power output or whatever it's called. Just so we could. Uh, oh, man, I missed one over here. Uh, just so we don't have to actually keep building more of those things. We can just upgrade our existing uh, power stations or whatever. There you go. Move these guys over. And I believe that's going to be it, right? Just the three Shrew the Amimuses that I'm moving right now. Yep, there you go. And I believe that's it. Yeah. So uh, let's actually go get the Gigantic Spinosaurus fossils processed over here. Let's see where are they at. Oh, nice. We got some Ambers. Nice. Just right at the back, getting 36% right there. 46%. 58 65, holy hell, oh yeah, look at that, it's already full right there, oh my gosh, 69%, okay, so if I get the threes, these three ambers, we're going to get the 62% though, ooh, yeah, I don't have any more uh, two slots, so I guess I'll just do that, there you go, uh, we'll get a little bit of money for that, 40,000, yeah, 80,000 right there, so not bad, I guess, then uh, hopefully we actually have scientists who are not uh, overworked or whatever, oh yeah, 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 bank, take care of it, okay, cool, so there you go, nice, so she's going to take care of that, and then uh, we're going to get two scientists some, uh, some rest, so let's actually get Sastry, some rest, and... Oh, wait, no, three of them, actually. Wow. Didn't even notice that. <laughs> there you go. And then, yeah, bang here in just a minute. She's going to have to take a rest as well. Uh, but for right now... Pecula, Pecacephalosaurids. Oh, yeah. I had that uh, pin from earlier on, so... At least it's telling me, like, we're at 2.9 out of 3.5 stars, so... Whatever. Anyways, uh... Man, they're fighting again? Why are they fighting again? Man, they fight... Yeah, they're fighting right here. They just... That one just came out of the heckin' hospital. The comfort's kind of low. Oh, yeah, it's missing ground. Yeah, 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 let's take care of that. Yeah, I should have looked at that earlier. So ground leaf, yeah, right here, boom. Take care of this, boom. Nice. Make sure the ground leaf is nice and covered, literally speaking, because <laughs> we're setting some ground cover right here with leaves. And that's probably about as good as that's going to get. Nice. All right, so should be good now on everything. Yeah, plenty of water, plenty of open space. Everything else should be good too, right? Like cohabitation. Yeah, cohabitation, that's fine. I'm like, it's literally just the two of them right now, but as, as we're going to add more of them and then more screw the Amimus and then probably something like a gigantic spinosaurus and maybe something like the uh the, whatever the stego thing was uh hopefully it doesn't start getting a uh, red there right but for right now it seems like they're fine which is great so anyways uh hopefully here in just a minute the uh, other power station is going to be done and then we're not going to, have to worry about that power thing at the top of the screen yelling at me oh 
And there we go. Just like I said, it's done. Nice. All right. So everything over here should be nice and powered now. So that's going to be good. Perfect. All right. So currently our uh, park is at three stars. And because we have this area over here, I should probably sit down. Uh, we can look at the management views. Oh, yeah. See, it's red right there for shelter. And oh, yeah, I was about to say like right here, we could have uh, amenities and whatnot. But I was like double checking and yeah, it is indeed red over here. So yeah, it makes sense to place down more drink and food, but not shopping actually. Which is kind of weird. Why are they okay with shopping? Well, it's, it's still red over here, so. But I'm surprised why it's... Oh, yeah, it's because th that one's... Those are further away, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, because shopping's the closest one already, yeah. I don't know, I could probably actually place it, like, right here, honestly. Like, right here. Like, actually, like, straight up. Like, just put small ones. Can I actually fit three of them right there? Like, three small ones? I was talking about this last episode. Uh, I probably could squeeze that in. If I angle it just right, I probably could. Uh, let's try to buy the standard path. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. So if I place three of them right here, there you go. Probably need to move that pile on here in just a second as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, forget about that at least for right now. So what, what is this? That is uh, burgers. Okay. It doesn't matter because we're going to have all of them anyways. So burgers, let's get drinks next. Uh, do I have to? Oh, man. It's, it keeps wanting to snap right there. And I feel like that pylon is getting in the way. Yeah, see, it's obstructed by the pylon. So let's, let's try and move this if I can. Yes. Yeah, oh, wait. No, it's the amphitheater. Whoops. Man, I can't move the actual pylon, though. Man. Hold on. Unpause. Get rid or, yeah, move the pylon. Can I move the pylon? I can't. It keeps wanting to select the amphitheater. Man. Hold on. There you go. Yeah. Get rid of that pylon. There we go. Then I, I guess I guess I'll just place down the, the small. Yeah, there you go. Small amenity, at least right now. And then uh, here in just a second, we can place down that pylon again once everything's kind of built and done. But uh, let's place this as close as we can to the burger place. Right there. Cool. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, man, I put two cheap burgers right next to each other. Oh, yeah, we can change this over to, like, uh, other stuff now because we got that researched right. So, there you go. Change that over to drinks. There we go. I need to remember to do that before I place them down. Ah, oh, man, can I squeeze that in right here? It's going to be really close. Let's see if I can. Hopefully I can. I don't know. I don't think I can. Golly, man. I, I guess I'd have to put it, like, right here and then move the uh, large substation over or something like that, right? Man. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at this. I can't even build that close to the pathway there. Some strange reasons, so there you go. I guess I'll place that there, and then... Uh, can I move this pylon over? I, maybe I could. Yeah, so look at this. We could put this gigantic substation, like, right here, and everything is going to be still be powered right there, which is good. Okay, cool. Let's actually uh, connect up this pylon here, if I can. Yep, there you go. Connect it up there, and there you go. Nice. All right, so that's honestly not bad, and then we could put a uh, another small one right here, and that's going to be fine, I'd say. Is there enough room there for me to make a medium? Probably. All right, real quick, by the way, because there's uh, a lot of stuff going on right now. Let's actually process those fossils because I know, uh, hold on. Uh, yep, there you go. I get the Spinosaurus, process the rest of those fossils. We're at 62% right now. It's going to go up to 78% here in just a second. So let's actually process the rest of these with you. There you go. And then uh, hopefully uh, we could actually go on another expedition here in just a minute and continue getting more gigantic Spinosaurus fossils and whatnot. And I guess we could end off the episode by us incubating and uh, releasing one of these bad boys. That'd be pretty cool, you guys. But a uh, medium amenity. Yeah, I could just barely not fit that there. But could I do it if I did it sideways? Yep, there you go. Cool. So now we've got a medium. Uh, hey, I actually selected a shop that time. That's good. So we got action figures right there. I guess I'll keep it as is. Uh, so hold on. So that's shop. This is ice slushies. That's drink. And yeah, that's food. Losing money on the cheap burgers now, though. Man, why is that? Golly. The money just keeps fluctuating left to right, you guys. Oh, man. Dangerous storm. Oh, uh, no. We got a dangerous storm. I don't think we're able to heckin do all this stuff right now. I might actually need to move those shops like down here or something like that. I don't know. Let's look at management views. Shopping is good. F drink, food and drink are good here. Yeah. No red at all throughout the entire, except for like right there on that corner. But yeah, that's, that's a very, very specific part of the map. Man. Well, there's no viewing gallery over there. So there's nothing really attracting them over there either. I should definitely get some sort of attraction, guest attraction. Place that down over here as well. That'd be really good. Yeah, place it down like right here, wherever that was. But yeah, let's, let's open up the uh, shelters. Make sure everyone is nice and safe. Open all shelters. There you go. And then hopefully nothing bad happens during this event here. But uh, here in just a second, we're actually getting back from the expedition. And we could probably finish up that uh, Gigantus Spinosaurus fossil set, you guys. Oh, 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 small power station has a power outage. Where? Oh, that one right there specifically. Man, why does it have a power outage? This one doesn't, though. Well, thankfully, we have a second one over here. I didn't even give it an upgrade for the uh, storm defense. The other one has a storm defense upgrade, but it, for some reason had a power failure anyways. Yeah, look at that. Prevents taking damage. From, okay, taking damage from storms, but it still doesn't work for some reason. But at least we have this one over here, though, so that's good. Vehicle under threat. Yeah, the only thing we have to worry about now is all this over here. Unidentified ailment. Whoops. Hold on. Uh, probably another fight or something like that that just happened. Man. All right. 
Well, uh, we're at, we were at 3.1 stars just a minute ago, but now it's gone down to 3.1. Or we were at 3.2, I think. Now it's down to 3.1 again, though, so. Man. Let's actually check up on you as well. And it looks like the storm has subsided. Subsided. Let's actually uh, open or close all the shelters again. There you go. And I think we survived it. Not bad. All right, well, we do have two injured dinos, so we need to get where? Where are we going? Wait, what in the world? Uh, surface wound. Okay, so hold on. Uh, yep, yeah, minor injury. So we should be able to get the MVU over here to take care. Oh, yeah, we, we already uh, told them to go over here. Okay, perfect. Cool. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we survived that pretty well. And there you go. Exhibition complete. Let's uh, look at the fossils. And yeah, look at that. Wow, gigantic spinosaurus. Going to get up to 100% here in just a minute, you guys. Hold on. Can we do that? I need to get that one slot right there. Yeah, I can't do that right now. Man. Yeah. Yeah. And this is palladium and crustacean fossils. Yeah, really wish I could actually process that real quick, but it's going to take a minute. Uh, let's see who could actually take care of this real quick. Not oh, bang. Yeah, we need to give her a rest. So I can take care of that. There you go. Nice. All right. So let's give her a rest. And then I guess, uh, I don't know. I guess maybe next episode we could actually incubate a uh, gigantic spinosaurus and whatnot. Right. But hey, at least we made a little bit, of little bit of progress right there. Look at that. We're back up to 3.2 stars, as you can see down there on the uh, little Pachycephalosaurus or Pachycephalosaurids thing. Still to make a profit there. Or, yeah, not even there, golly. Or there, god, man. Why is that? I need to look at that. Yeah, now the adventure guests are down. I, I need I need to weigh and balance this a little bit more. I I, I think I need to research... Where was it? Guest stu something. I need to re research that. Get more uh, stuff to accommodate the guests and whatnot. Or, yeah, amenities. Yeah, this one right here, yeah. Large amenity and then general amenity module or modules. So I guess we'll start researching that if I can. Yeah, if I have enough... Uh, yep, yep, there you go, boom. Start researching that, and I guess we'll get you, and then uh, it'll go down uh, to only two minutes right there. Okay, cool. And then that's going to hopefully be done in time for next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory mode comes out here in San Diego, where hopefully we're going to actually make a little bit more progress towards that four star rating right there we need to get to and 40 dinosaurs and 10 dinosaur species. Uh, we're getting pretty close to nine dinosaur species right now with our. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Wait, what's this? Disease with. Oh, what in the world is that? I need to research that. Yeah, let's start researching that, researching that if I can. Uh, hold on. This one right here. Take a photo of a dinosaur with that disease. Okay, interesting. So we have some really interesting things to do next episode, you guys. Uh, which, by the way, I never did set down a ranger. There you go. Ranger post over here. I'm like, the other ranger post does cover that over there, which is good. But definitely need to place down another ranger post there. So <laughs> there you go. But uh, let's assign you to that post. There you go. Cool. All right. But I already did the outro right there. So thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory Mode here in San Diego. Oh, bye there. Oh.